Hello, my name is Sunny Lee, Product Manager at Zebra Technologies. Today we're going to be demonstrating our online printer selector tool. This is going to be the first video in a series of life cycle demonstration videos. The printer selector tool can be found by going to the URL on your screen. Once you've entered the printer selector tool URL into your browser, you will find the home page. The tool will ask you a series of questions to help narrow the search based on your environment, use cases, and workflows. We will run through one scenario example to provide a general idea of how the utility works. As you can see, there are several use case environments to choose from on the home screen. Please choose the option that best suits your environment. For this demonstration, we will be looking for a printer in a warehouse environment. Click in your work environment to highlight your selection and then scroll down and click next to advance to the next screen. The next question asks what use cases or workflows are in your environment. There are several use cases to choose from and you can select from a single use case or multiple use cases depending on your requirements. For this example, we will select inventory management and shipping and receiving. Click to highlight your selections and then scroll down and click next to advance to the next screen. Now we will select the type of printer we are looking for. Depending on your use case, this will vary. What's nice about the printer selector tool is that we can always modify our selections later on in the process. So even if you're not 100% sure at any given point, you can always experiment with your selections as often as needed. Some high level questions to ask yourself at this point could be printer placement. Maybe you're looking for a printer with a smaller compact footprint. If so, a desktop printer may be the best fit. Or do you need to perform your printing on demand exactly when and where it is needed? If so, a mobile printer would be the best choice. Or are you printing out on a warehouse floor where large volumes of labels are needed, in which case an industrial printer would be the best fit. We will go with the latter scenario and select an industrial printer. Click to highlight your selection and then click next to advance to the next screen. Next, we will select our duty cycle for the printer, approximately how many labels per day we will be printing. For this example, let's select a middle of the road duty cycle of between 1,000 to 5,000 labels per day. Highlight your selection and then click Next. Lastly, we will select any special features we might require for our printer. In this case, let's select a color LCD so we can easily see our printer status and make any necessary setting changes directly from the display menu. Highlight as many of the options you may need in this section and then click show me the results. Now, if you scroll down slightly, you will see the best printer options based on your responses to the questions. You can click learn more to get more information about these printers and or download the spec sheets for your reference. If we scroll back up to the top of the page, you can see your responses to the questions in the pull down menu fields. And here's where you can experiment and modify your responses as needed. You can clear all of your selections or just make individual setting changes and then click update my answers to modify the results. You can click here to print the results or click here to contact a Zebra representative with any additional questions you may have. Lastly, if you scroll all the way up to the top of the screen, you can click start over and the tool will reset and take you back to the home screen. And that is a quick run through of the Zebra printer selector tool. I hope you found this video informative. Please keep an eye out for our next video in our life cycle series where we will demonstrate the Zebra supply selector tool. Thank you for your attention.